Hey you guys, I'm here with another DIY and we're gonna DIY this basket from the dollar store and I love this container. It was just one dollar and I love using it and it's my new favorite thing from there and I picked up a ton of them so heads up, you're gonna see a ton of these DIY baskets and I'm gonna go ahead and customize this just the way I want because it's gonna be for a gift so it's gonna be a gift basket. So I'm gonna remove all the labels on there. Before I get started, I want it nice and clear. I don't want anything on this basket. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with alcohol. If you're ever gonna add any decals to something, you have to wipe it down with alcohol just to remove any dust, any dirt, any fingerprints, anything in the way of your decal. Now, I'm also gonna go ahead and link the link down below of the decal, so you can go ahead and purchase it, and I'm gonna give you a discount code for 15% off your entire purchase. I'm gonna leave that link down below, so go ahead and check that out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and comment down below if you have any tips for me. I would love to hear them. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use a mix of this Louis Vuitton logo, and it just, a couple of them I printed them different sizes so just to get started I thought it would be perfect for this basket it's gonna be really pretty it's gonna be nice and shiny and I'm gonna go ahead and add my transfer tape to a couple of them so I could get started but yeah I decided to do this one I really like the way they came out especially in this color it's a coral and a pink so I thought a mix of both of them would be very pretty for this gift basket and I'm sure whoever I give it to is going to love it. So all I'm going to do is cut stuff down, measure it, and add my transfer tape. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm going to leave my link down below. Just so you can go ahead and see any pictures I post of this. I'm going to give you a heads up before I post it. So I always give, you know, heads up, any discounts, anything I could find. I'm going to go ahead and share it with you on there as well it's a little bit easier and you can message me if you have any questions on anything the product a video you would love to see go ahead and link that and leave it down below i'm gonna go ahead and get back to you as soon as i can so with this i'm just measuring it just to make sure that i'm getting it right this is my favorite transfer tape because it has the little red lines if you could see the grid right there those little lines help you so you stay inside the lines so you don't make it any bigger. They kind of guide you. This is a great way of using transfer tape because it kind of guides you through the process. If you want to go ahead and say that, then you have, you know, you don't want to bring out a ruler and start measuring and then you can't see it. This is nice and clear and it guides you through the whole process and it makes it super easy to go ahead and add your decals. Now this decal is... um very pretty you get four of them right there as you can see for the price so go ahead and check that out the link is down below and you can go ahead and buy the same one as well if that's what you want to purchase you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can do so many different things with it you can make it different colors go ahead and check out my instagram i'll put a picture of the different colors that i used so you can go ahead and get a little preview of how many different ways and different colors and different sizes you can make it. Now I'm going to go ahead and scrape that down. Make sure you scrape it down really nice. You don't want no air bubbles. You don't want no wrinkles. You want it to be really nice and straight so when you're ready to put it onto your project, you can go ahead and put it on smoothly and you're not going to have any problems doing that. So look at how easy this transfer tape is going to peel. I'm going to show you right now. I'm just going to go ahead and peel it to show you. Look at how easy it's going to just peel off. And you're going to be able to apply it straight onto your decal. Grab your scraper and just press it down as firmly as you can. You don't want it moving. You don't want it going in nowhere but onto your project. So look at how big I made those LVs. Aren't they gorgeous i decided to make those a little bigger just so they would show a little more dramatic on there and i love the fact that they came out really nice and i love the colors i use i use a mix of orange and coral and i thought that would be very pretty for this um diy gift basket because when they're done 
with getting everything out of the basket. They could go ahead and use this to add makeup brushes, to add pencils. You can use this little um, basket for a lot of things. So it's going to be very cute and it's going to be convenient. All I'm doing is cutting up these decals because I'm going to go ahead and place them everywhere on the basket. And it's easier if you go ahead and just cut them before you place and then cut. So always cut first your project, have it ready, and then you're going to be able to just place it together. So go ahead and bring your basket towards you. And I'm going to go ahead and start and see where I want to place everything. You can go ahead and just place everything just to get a look and a feel of how you want it. And then go ahead and add it. So it's that simple. Once you have it where you want it, you're going to peel off the transfer tape and you're going to add it straight to your basket or wherever you're adding it to. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix it around and just do a mix. Look at how easy that's going to come off. It came out really easy and now I'm going to place it on there. And once you place it where you want it, press on it. Press on it as hard as you can so it sticks nice and firm on there. Go ahead and grab your next piece and you're going to add it wherever you want. And once you have it there, you're going to press on it as well. So always press on it, no matter what. Either with your hands or with your scraper or you, the thing you use you can use a credit card as well or just a gift card if you don't have one and that'll help you just lay down everything so i'm going to go ahead and put these all over the whole basket just randomly and let's, let's see what we come up with once you have it nice and pressed in there you're going to want to go ahead and add them everywhere trust me i'm going to go ahead and add them around the whole basket i thought that would be very cute and then put it on there and then hold it down and then press on it. So always press on it with something just so it sticks on there and it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and add as many as I can on here. And the good thing is go ahead and make a ton. Always make a ton for your projects. If you don't use them, that's fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and peel off this transfer tape. Peel it off nice and slow. You don't want anything moving. You want to peel it off nice and slow. So everything stays on there. And so far, look at how cute it's coming out. So peel it off nice and slow. And look at how gorgeous it already looks. This is going to be so fun to give to someone. Look at how gorgeous that is. And it's nice and shiny because it's the glitter kind. So that's going to look even better. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more and I'm just going to add it anywhere it needs it, anywhere I feel it needs it. And I'm just going to put them on there and I'm going to press on it and then I'm going to peel it off nice and slow. You don't want to peel it off hard or fast because it's going to mess up your decal. You want it to peel off nice and slow so it sticks on there. And look at how cute. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. And I'm going to do the side as well. So I'm happy I made a ton of these. Because I'm definitely going to use them. Now all I have to do is figure out where I want to place them. And then press on it. And then peel it off nice and slow. And it's going to stay under with no problems. Go ahead and turn it around. And I'm going to do the back as well. I decided to do the whole thing. I was only going to do the front, but I couldn't stop. I had them here. And I'm like, why not just add them all, as many as I can, and see how cute that looks. So press on it, grab your tape, and peel it off. And look at how gorgeous. I'm happy that I made the LV bigger than everything else because it kind of stands out really nice. And I'm just going to place them randomly everywhere. As many as I can, I'm going to go ahead and just place them and see what I come up with. And I'm also going to do the edge. So don't forget to do all on this basket, do them all. Do the whole front, back, side to side. And it's going to look super cute when you're done. So all I'm doing is pressing on it, adding them on there. And look at how cute it's going to look. 
so like i said always make sure you make a ton of them if you don't end up using them that's fine you can put them away for another project and use them later for something else but always make sure you have more than you need just in case you do want to add a couple extra and you don't want to go ahead and have to get your machine but look at how cute this is it came out so cute i can't wait till i make the basket keep an eye out for that video but this is going to be great i'm going to go ahead and get some more of these decals because i think i need to add more so i'm going to add as many as i printed i printed um i think four more so i'm going to go ahead and add those because i love the way it's coming out this basket is going to be so cute i cannot wait to put it together if you have any ideas for me go ahead and leave them down below i would love to see what ideas you have anything i can use for an upcoming video you know i love hearing your ideas so go ahead and leave them down below and if you want to message me go ahead and my email i'll leave it down below as well i'm going to start adding that just in case you want to email me something and you know my instagram's always there so i'm going to go ahead and keep adding these everywhere it came out so pretty it's looking so cute and yeah, so one tip out of this is remember to remove it slowly. You don't want to rip your decal off. You work so hard to make it and put it together. You don't want to be ripping it off and falling apart. You really have to go nice and slow. And just make sure you add it where you want it. If you think you need more, go ahead and make more. So that's why I said you have to have a couple. So you won't have to take out your machine. And if you have your machine there, it's perfect. But I love the way it came out. I think it is so cute. I'm going to add two more on this side. Because I already have them made. So why not? Go ahead and add them all. So like I was saying. Look at how I'm going to go ahead and add these two more. Since I already have it made. Or I might add one more. It doesn't matter. You can add whatever you want to this. It's your DIY. You want to customize it your way and i'm sure whoever you give this to they're gonna love it as well so go ahead and press on that nice and firm and then remove your tape and there you go look at how gorgeous it looks it looks gorgeous it looks like you brought it like you purchased it from like a high-end place just to make a basket and you really didn't you spend a dollar at the dollar store but there you go Look at how cute this is. This is going to be so cute when I'm ready to make it. I hope you guys like it. I love it. So go ahead and check out the link down below for the decals. If you want to see where I got them from. And make sure if you do go, use that 15% off um, discount code. And until next time, bye you guys.